asked me how to do a vignette effect. This is an effect where we actually soften the edge of a photograph. It's used a lot by photographers and is quite effective when we're doing sublimation. You'll notice that I'm using photo paint. I suggest using photo paint as Corel Draw tends to keep the file size fairly big when we do this in Corel Draw. Photo paint is designed for photographs to do editing. I suggest that you use it. So let's get started. First of all, let's select the circle mask which is located over in the left hand toolbar. Click on the circle mask. Click with your left mouse button and hold the the control key down and drag down. Create a circle. Don't get too close to the edge of the phot photograph. Let go. Now if we need to move our circle we can do that by selecting the move tool and we will move it over. Press enter. Come back here, select our pick tool. Now we've got our mask. Let's select the mask. Go down to shape. Let's go to feather. And you notice that we have a 20 width pixel direction. Basically this means that the higher the number, the more my mask will appear on the edge of my photograph. If you want, you can actually preview what's going to happen. Anything that's red will be cut out. Anything that's normal will stay. Again, if I want to increase it, the mask will get bigger. And I can, again, I can preview and you'll notice that it gets a bit bigger. Click OK. Takes a second. You'll now notice that the mask has actually gotten bigger. The mask now encompasses to where the vignette has gone. This is why I try to keep the mask a little away from the edges. If I didn't, it would actually go outside the edges and would cut off the mask. So now we have our mask done and our vignette. Let's go to Edit. Let's go to Copy. Let's go back to Edit again. Paste. I typically like to use New from Clipboard. And there's our vignette. You'll notice that the that the gray squares indicate that the background is transparent. We need a transparent background because if we decide to take this image into Corel Draw, which is what we're going to do, if we put this on a different color background, then if we had if we didn't have a transparent background, we'd see a white edge around the actual vignette. So now we need to save this. So let's go file, save. Let's call it kids. Let's call it kids one. And we're done. Now that we're back in Corel Draw, we can actually import the image in now. So let's go File, Import, and we want the kids. Import, and there's our image there. If we wanted to change the background, we could just right click to turn off the edge, and let's do a different colored background. There you are. Zoom in so we can see what it looks like. And there's your effect. Again, if you don't want white, then just click back on white. And there's your effect.